Hello and welcome to Kiss My Arts. My name is Mary Blake and we're here uh, with Leitrim <laughs> Daily with um, four laughing people. Look at <laughs> you didn't know the name of the show. <laughs> ah. We're here today with a lovely band that are based in the Carrick and Shannon area. Are anywhere yep. at all actually. Yeah, we'll, we'll go anywhere. <laughs> yeah, we'll go anywhere. <laughs> and they're a lovely traditional band called Gone Annam. Now, I'm going to get them all to introduce themselves to you. We're going to start with Katie. Katie, introduce yourself. My name is Katie Moreau, and I play the flute and the tin whistle. And where are you from, Katie? I'm from Drumsna. Good woman. Yeah. And next? <laughs> uh, I'm Louise. I play the tin whistle and the concertina. I'm also a Drumsna woman. <laughs> Lovely. Um, I'm Tara Noon. I'm from Carrick and Shannon, and I play the concertina and the tin whistle as well. Yes. And uh, my name is Fiacre Gwihin and I am between Kiju and Arigna in County Roscommon. I play guitar with the band here. So Great, yeah. great. So how long have you been together? I don't actually know. It's been a long... We've all always been playing together. We all went to the same music class when we were younger. So I think the band has been going three or four years maybe. It feels a lot longer. It feels like <laughs> we've been playing together forever. Um, but yeah, about three or four years I think. So you knew each other as children playing music? Yeah, so um, yeah. yeah, we did. We all went to um, to Muscle class with Pork Sweeney. So we were all sitting in his uh, living room. Little did we know that this was going to be happening a few the years later. The four of you play, learned from Pork Sweeney yeah. 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 yeah, you couldn't get better than Pork. Nope. Yeah. still yeah, exactly. teaching. And yeah. he'd be delighted and proud to see how well you've, you've done and how you've stuck with the music. A lot of times kids start and, you know, don't keep it. Why do you, how do you think, what made you stay doing it, Katie? Um, I think definitely that we had our friends doing it with us so like definitely like myself and Louise were in primary school we had the classes there as well so when the fact that we both kept it up and the two of us were best friends anyway it was easier and then met Tara then in the dock and then Fieger out in um, Porek Sweeney's house we did the classes then out there and because we just had such a nice like, group of friends and group of people out there it was so you wanted to go every week even just to see your friends as well as like the joy of playing the music with everyone. Oh, brilliant so, so it was a social thing was it? Yeah definitely yeah it was yeah. a great crowd. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that's what traditional music kind of is um it's it is so sociable and it yeah. crosses so many generations as well you know which is really good for young yeah. people what kept you playing louise my was probably the same i suppose as well like when you go to things like you know the fla or the joe mooney like the feeling there do you know like yeah. there's such energy about irish music so i think that kind of keeps you going as well the competitions and stuff i think people enjoy it so much it would yeah. just keep you wanting more, kind of. So you all went to Joe Mooney Summer School, the Kiju <laughs> Summer School. <laughs> Where else was it? Was just the, those two mainly, I guess. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So those were the local ones, weren't yeah. 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 And did you do different instruments, or was it always the same instrument? Fiocca, what did you start playing? I started on the tin whistle in school uh, with Paul Ricky, of course, and then I think I moved on to the flute. Then when I was able to, whenever, whenever I was able to reach the holes, uh, yeah. you know. <laughs> um, and then, oh, after a few years, then I started playing the harp. Then, so I I learnt uh, off Michael Rooney for the harp in Sligo. Yeah, Brilliant. and then I don't know the guitar. I don't know they were badly stuck for a guitar <laughs> player. <laughs> Uh, that's how I started, yeah, so... Uh, so did you teach yourself the guitar, just... More or less, yeah, 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 more or less, yeah. yeah. I had, a, I think I had maybe one class at one stage, but that was about it, yeah. YouTube yeah. as well, that kind of helped a bit, you yeah, know, that brilliant. kind of, yeah. Yeah, and I suppose yeah. if you have a background in anything, that's why I think the tin whistle is such a great, yeah, great. thing yeah, to start exactly, off. Yeah, I mean, exactly. even as a parent, you know, you th you invest, in, we, most of us can stretch to invest in tin whistle, but if somebody <laughs> comes straight off the back looking for a harp or a piano, <laughs> yeah. it's yeah. an investment, yeah. and yeah. once you establish that the person has the musicality, then you can build on that. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. And Tara, you sing with the band as well? Yeah, I do. I try anyways. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and would you have started off as a singer or as a musician or did the two always go together? Um, no, it was always, I always just played music and then when I was younger, mum and dad used to always try and make me sing in places, but I was always kind of too shy. And then with poor Sweeney, he used to try and make me sing as well. Sorry. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think I was doing it, but it terrified me. Yeah. Um, but I think since we started doing it, it was only as we started doing it as a band and stuff in pubs, I kind of was forced to do it and you kind of get used to it then after a while. <laughs> <laughs> and you mentioned being shy. I mean, do you think it helps with confidence playing music? Oh, 100%, mm. yeah. No, I feel like especially in the last few years 100% like I wouldn't have talked to people at all before <laughs> amazing, yeah. Um, but yeah no it makes such a difference I well I don't know that's me anyway. yeah, and do you I all agree with that girls yeah, yeah definitely yeah. Yeah. or even like I feel like 
when I, we play together, like I'm so much more confident now playing together. Like you just notice such a difference oh, yes. yeah. Yeah, when you're playing on your own. It's not half the same. Like, no. Yeah, no, no, there's so much yeah. more power in you when you when we yeah. all play together. You're more exposed, yeah. I suppose. Yeah, yeah so that's well. true. Yeah. yeah. So are you all in college or finished college or what are you doing? I'm in college up in UCD. Oh, okay. Um, what year are you going into? I'm going into final year. Oh, yeah. and doing what? Uh, microbiology. Wow. Yeah. yeah, so it's a strange year going back. I'm but sure you don't know your full timetable. No, it's, yeah, and, it's everything's so unknown, but yeah. happy to be going back up anyway. I bet you are. It's been a long, long break, but the music has been there to give you something to do, yeah. I suppose. No, yeah, definitely keeps and, you busy. And yourself, Louise, are you finished? Uh, I'm on? UCD as well, so I'm going into third year. I'm uh, third year medicine. Right. Um, so I've kind of a long way to go. <laughs> <laughs> a long way. But you have a long, you have locked on. Yeah, exactly. And how did you find studying from home? Um, I don't mind it. Studying at home kind of suits me. I kind of, I have space there, but um, it's definitely different to think everyone is kind of readjusting, but you just kind of have to get on with it yeah, more than yeah, anything. Brilliant. Yeah. So. Yes. And Tara? Um, I'm also in final year, but I'm up in um, St. Pat's up in Drumcondra. Okay. And what are you studying um, there? Primary school teaching. Great. So yeah, almost done, but almost sure, yeah, it flies done. like... Yeah. Um, but yeah, so far so Brilliant. good anyway. So well, the music will be help to you for your, for yeah, your teaching career. Yeah, as hopefully. Well. Um, yeah, hopefully. Um anytime I've been out on teaching practice I always bring a bit of music and they seem yeah. to love it, so it's it's a handy mm-hmm. one to have. Yeah, brilliant it is indeed. And Fiocra. Um so I am <laughs> I've just my college days are over unfortunately, <laughs> but um I did a masters last year in music in Limerick and then I just started a job there recently in the Tramble as a teacher and a secondary school teacher. A grown up job. Uh, yeah, I know, yeah, imagine. I <laughs> it know. doesn't suit me at all, and but anyway. What, what, what will you be teaching? Um, engineering, is, engineering and graphics are my two subjects. Fantastic. Yeah. Great school from Tramble. So. Good yeah. school, yeah, good school, nice school. you went to school yourself? I went to school there myself, yeah. Oh my yeah. So you got a brief break from Drum Shambo Vocation School to yeah, exactly. and straight back. <laughs> straight they back knew, in. They knew they wanted you back. <laughs> oh no, I didn't. Brilliant. Know. Well done, so congrats Thanks on lot. that. Thanks a lot. And come here, will you be having an old tune? Or a song? Or what would you yeah, like? I might do a song maybe. So okay. Okay, yeah, okay sure. Tara, tell us what you're going to do. Um, we're going to do the Lakes of Pontra Train. Uh, we kind of do a different version of it, a little bit boppy. So is that the Paul Brady song we would have Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. we try to put our own little twist on it. So Fantastic. Hopefully you'll enjoy it now. Oh, I'm sure I will. I'm looking forward to this. I haven't had a bit of live <laughs> music in a long time. I'm starved. Yeah, you'd miss it. It's good to have yeah. an audience. Oh, it's brilliant. <laughs> Thanks a million. Take it away, guys. It was one bright March morning. I've been to Orleans in June. I stepped on board 
train. A lot. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, I'm so sorry we don't have an audience. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's all right. And, you know, so. I was looking at the recording uh, desk here and it's just hopping. It's just buzzing, buzzing, <laughs> vibrating. That was amazing and so beautiful, guys. That, that's class. I actually Thank can't you tell you how many oh. fights we had over that song because awesome. the harmonies are like oh. myself, oh. Katie, and Pika. <laughs> never yeah, we're, not, we're not great yeah, yeah, If you couldn't never. tell by that small <laughs> snippet, we're not singers. No, but keep that. Yeah. Like, yeah. I think that it makes so such a difference. Much, yeah. Doesn't it, Tara? I've been trying the last few years. We've gotten one song. So yeah, yeah, we've got one so song. We'll get no. one we now. might leave it at one. <laughs> it, it, it just gives it such a different Yeah, it does. It makes it so fast, lads. And I'm holding in my hand your album Gone Anim Crossland <laughs> and that has 10 tracks on it how can we get that? Uh, we have well we have them for sale ourselves so if anyone yeah. ever messages our Facebook page or our Instagram page we have them there and we also have them on iTunes as well and Spotify I think Good. as well yeah. Good. Um, yeah and it was a great opportunity that we got we did it last summer there so it feels like ages ago now that oh, we did God. it and thank <laughs> God you have it you know yeah, it's yeah, well. yeah, exactly, have done yeah. it last year and you yeah. have it yeah. and come here you were doing a lot of gigs you were kind of everywhere last summer <laughs> yeah you we know? were I mean, we're very lucky this summer is very quiet oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> big difference it's yeah. such a contrast though because you were in uh, Tipsy Taylors, you were in the queues, you were playing quite regularly, Flynn's. Yeah, yeah, yeah we were the Swan like, as well. Yeah. Every weekend. Yeah. Uh, we were really lucky last summer, like we had loads of places looking for yeah, us. Yeah, local pubs definitely gave us huge support as yeah, well, 100%. which was lovely to get because, you know, we are a young band, so yes. you're kind of looking for what you can get. And your students as well. Yeah, and exactly. It's a nice way to work and keep your, yeah. your craft up as well. And um, do you find playing in pubs, busy pubs, is it? tough when people are chatting then or would you prefer a concert setup? Um, I don't know I don't think you can beat that pub yeah, I, love here. Pub, yeah. Yeah. I think it's great it's just something else yeah, especially when when you have a good crowd as well yeah when they're kind of feeding off yeah there's some nights where the pubs will be yeah. absolutely hopping and everyone's just in a good mood and it puts us in a good mood yeah. as well it's nearly better when the pubs are absolutely packed yeah really? it just yeah it's so such you a good atmosphere be like, could you all shut up and no, listen to no, it no 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 <laughs> we'd hand we them a mic and yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah we want you singing along yeah. Yeah. so you feed up that atmosphere. oh 100% like yeah. if, if everyone else is enjoying it it makes us enjoy it so yeah. much more fantastic. Yeah. you play so much better as well yeah definitely yeah. Yeah. boosts your confidence and what about gigs the moment is there anything Happening. No, no, we got huge support from the Coleman Centre in Sligo. Oh, yeah. Um, there a few weeks ago, they did a Facebook Live with us. Um, so that was even something like that, just to be able to play t- all together yeah, again was yeah. a big boost. But we haven't actually had anything since no. before. I mean, we've still a lot of weddings as well. Do you know? So like everybody's weddings have been postponed yeah. or pushed forward or whatever. Yeah. Do you know? So, um. It's not, yeah, it's not just us, I suppose, it's, it's yeah, the it's couples, the whole, it's everyone, yeah. like, everyone's yeah. affected. So you, it, it is that. just, you're just, like, uh, collateral damage, really, I mean. Yeah, the whole been, industry, well, I think, is, so, yeah, yeah, you know, like all of yeah. music yeah. has yeah. been hit so hard. You'd yes. miss it, you'd miss it, just, apart from just playing, just meeting up, like, and, yeah. you know, yeah. it's, it's the different people, like, I'd play, well, i play with ye, obviously, and then I'd have a couple of different settings, you know, like, with even teaching music or whatever, it's all the different people that you meet, like, you know, you miss that kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah, and I noticed, Fiacre, you were doing a lot. Well, you were all doing some Facebook Live stuff, some some recordings, some yeah, um, did, virtual yeah. concerts, mm-hmm. yeah, which yeah. were beautiful. And Tara, you did some great w- work with your own voice, a lot of harmony. Yeah. That's right, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so that's up on your Facebook page, guys. It's really worth checking out the Facebook page, Gone Anim, because they've put a lot of material there, and yeah. it's yeah. it's fresh and it's different. And I think um, we just miss the music so much. Like we were all at home in isolation no one could see anybody and we were literally craving just a bit of music yeah. something to do was yeah. it? <laughs> <laughs> put some yeah, work exactly. into it yeah. Fiyuka did really good editing yeah, on yeah. it as well yeah. so all, so we were yeah. all like at home recording our own pieces and yeah. he was able to layer them yeah. all together So and you know musicians not for the first time musicians have been so generous over Covid um, I have really noticed yeah, so definitely. many musicians yeah. getting up putting yeah. on live yeah. concerts <laughs> and a part of it is for the generosity of yeah. spirit but a part of it is for themselves yeah. They, yeah, they, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. they need yeah. to be doing it Reality, yeah. yeah, and it's that connection with the, the, the arts that mm-hmm. is just so important. I told you I'm going to ask you who most influenced you, mm-hmm. and I told them this um, before the interview <laughs> started. I said, have a wee think on this. <laughs> who do you think is responsible for where you are today with your music? Katie, I'll start with you. Um, I always talk about him, though. <laughs> granddad, uh, my granddad here in Carrick. He doesn't even play music himself. What's his name? His name is John Kelly. Um, and Figure actually wrote a tune 
for me for his birthday there last week called Mousy Kelly. So I used to call him Grandad Mousy. So ah. Mousy Kelly would call him. <laughs> and why did and he get you playing music? His family were all very musical. Um, his dad and his brother would have been fiddle players up in Bundoran. And um, so when he heard that I was doing the classes in um, Anna Duff School with Pork Sweeney, he was just always at me to be practising, always at me. And I was kind of like, would you leave me alone? Like, let me. <laughs> but I'm so grateful now that he was the one that kind of made me practise and was always just encouraging me to play for him and everything. And like, I, I don't think I'd still be playing today only for him. Oh, that's yeah. brilliant. Yeah. And, and it's really nice, that encouragement, because I suppose as parents and grandparents, you really want the kids to be playing music but yeah. there's a thin line between encouraging them and tormenting them <laughs> yeah. do you know what I mean no. and you can, it can go either way yeah. you know? no, I just wanted to please them though so it worked out well because I'd love to just go up and bring the whistle and he'd be happy and I'd be happy out then and it would just it worked well then oh that's brilliant yeah. so he's thanked yeah definitely yeah. Oh, brilliant what about yourself Louise um, I don't know, I don't really, my family never would have been madly traditional, like my granddad danced but no one ever played anything so I suppose like Porrick Sweeney definitely played a huge part for me like because I suppose I didn't have it at home so it was kind of the lessons with him and definitely the fact that everyone around me as well no more than what kept you playing like you wanted to have the fun and you wanted yeah. to have the crack so and I got on so well I think we all got on so well with him That's as well right. that it was yeah. his love for the music like he does he lives for it mm -hmm. and to see that as well I think was a huge influence that he enjoyed it so much and it brought him so many places so yes. that was definitely a, a huge factor yeah, for I me. I think Porrick a lot of people in the county would be yeah the whole and area yeah actually, yeah would be thanking Porrick oh, for getting them Definitely. Them, definitely them interested yeah, in yeah and he still shows us so much support as well yeah. like yeah. we've had him up in the middle of the pub playing <laughs> with us and Brilliant. it's lovely to be able to bring him back yes. and have him play with us yeah. and kind of play on the same kind of power we'll, we'll never be on the same power no. as him but yeah, to be yeah. able to play with him instead of kind of being taught by him is it's yeah. strange but so nice as well he's so brilliant and i see his lessons he's trying to get lessons yeah to fair, play to him him now. So. fair play to him and joan of course is yeah oh my yeah, god of course great. the whole family i think they're so welcoming yeah so, and yeah and they're really rooting for you and we did kyotary lock allen with him for a long time as well which is really where the four of us yeah. would have started playing i suppose in a bigger group but kind of just the thought of the group, even forming the group and the thought that you could play in places, yeah. in a group, like that was such a big part of this ever coming yeah. about. So yeah. that was definitely kind of what... And I think all over the country, you know, there, there are Porrick Sweeney's here and there. And you're, <laughs> yeah, of you're, course. You're damn lucky if he's in your area. Oh, yeah, I know. 100%. But, um, yeah, it is. It's, it's great. Tara, yeah. what about yourself? Um, well, I was trying to think like where, where it all started, but I just, I have these memories. My granddad, she used to play in a band and every year at the Kiji Festival, there'd be one night where there'd be a big Kaylee going on and he'd be playing the drums down the back. And I just had these <laughs> memories of like, there was like a little room beside the stage where they were playing and I'd be sitting on the stairs just watching him play. Um, and then mom and dad used to just send me to Tumwissa lessons and stuff. I just remember kind of like any sort of chance that we'd get to play for them or whatever. And granny and grandpa then as well, they used to try and make me learn <laughs> off a few songs. So I think it was, yeah, all family orientated anyways. Like so I was, it was always... It was a social thing as well. 100%, yeah. yeah. Like myself and my two, my brother and sister, we were all sent off to classes. So it was kind of, if you like it, great. And if you don't like it, we'll find something else to do. Yeah. Do you know that kind of way? Yeah. So brilliant. So you have a lot of people and Pork as well, of course. And Pork, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I couldn't do without Pork. I know. <laughs> and Fiacra. I'm sure you've had a lot of people who have kind of <laughs> encouraged you along the way. Yeah. And who would you think? I suppose, you like, yeah, just when you when you said that, I suppose everyone that you meet along the way, like, has some yeah. part to play mm -hmm. in the person that you become musically or whatever, like, you know. So, I mean, if when it started off with playing with Porrick Sweeney, I'm going to sound old now, but like, at the time, Porrick was about the only music teacher around that was doing much. Yeah, you know, I when I was like when I was young, original, like, yeah. And then he started the group like Creole Rock Allen and things like that. There was nothing like that. Now, of course, you've like things like Carrick Trad and there's loads more yeah, teachers yeah. now. Yeah. But in my in my local area, anyway, I think Porrick mm. was about the only one. So we owe a huge and a lot yeah, to him. Anyway. Um, there was some music in my family. My grandfather played and my uncle played. So I, I always would have was a flute, was flute, a flute player, player, yeah, Tom, Tommy, Tommy Green, yeah. So I kind of would have looked up to him a lot. There would have been old recordings around the house and things like that. Yeah. Um, and my teachers, of course, like Michael Rooney on the harp and um, Porrick, of course. Um, and everyone, like I think everyone in in a way, like you know, all the musicians you meet would say at the summer schools or mm. people your own age, even like they all play a part. You know, like like I played in like groupie kills, you know, in. Yeah. you know when you're underage in, in the flas and things yeah. like that and 
even playing with the band now, like I just love it, you know, that kind of way. So, um, and do, yeah. speaking of summer schools, did you, did you, I suppose the great thing about those summer schools, I suppose Nancy Woods set, set up the, yeah. the Joe Mooney and the ones over in um, Kiju as well, you would get a standard of musician coming to teach young people that would, you know, it would shock you. Sometimes I would look at the list of musicians yeah. that come and teach and say, oh, yeah, exactly. are you yeah. serious? Yeah. You, yeah. you know, my 10 year old kid can go and have, you know, a harp lesson by, you know. Fika Greenham. Fika Greenham. You know, all these fantastic yeah. Yeah. musicians. Generally, like, sure, they're the best in the country. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, really. Yeah. 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 Like, so yeah. lovely. Hill coming down, like, yeah. Yeah. and stuff like, you just can't believe that this is in your doorstep. Yeah. 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 Like, I originally started playing the harp at the festival or I tried it for the summer school in Keiju so I mean like if it wasn't for Parag Noon like Tara's yeah. grandfather that set it up and yeah. you know between him people like him and Joseph McDermott and um, they set up the festival and the summer school came then and then of course you had all these people coming down to teach for the week you know it was a great opportunity great. For, to learn like and all that yeah. and I suppose socially as well you would have met other kids coming back from year to year oh, and yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. to say oh hi it's you again yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So who taught you the concertina girls uh, we both went to Breda Shannon so yeah, yeah so yeah. A great crack all together. Oh, yeah. I think we used to yeah we used to spend <laughs> when Tara didn't show up. I'm not sure if I picked up the concertina <laughs> at times because she was actually teaching in our school. She was subbing as well, so the amount of gossip we'd have between the two of us <laughs> would be. <laughs> but um, yeah, it was a great time learning, yeah. and she's an unreal teacher. Like there she's, can be said about it. Yeah, she there. is. She's like her technique is. It's it's, it's like funny it's as well. And she plays away like it's, she's not even thinking about it. She's the way she plays it, it's as if it's so nothing, like it's so easy. And I used to remember watching her and being like, how can you play like that? Oh yeah, no, all I remember from her is that she'd slip a little and it'd just be, she'd just start laughing to herself. Yeah. <laughs> she'd just she'd keep she's on like, going. Oh, <laughs> yeah. And of course, Nathan Shannon, her brother. Yeah, yeah. Oh, unreal yeah. as well. Um, so. You know, and her sister as yeah, well. Yeah, their whole so family is so talented. 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 Yeah. And, yeah. and again, we we um we benefit from these talented families yeah, around the place. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's it's fantastic. Did you enter flas as young people? Yeah. Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> Kate, I did. You're yeah. Yeah. Was it a scary thing? <laughs> <laughs> I just shouldn't have been allowed to enter them. Like, I was so bad. Like, the, the, I, I just, know. <laughs> well, no, I just laugh at our trio. Yeah, like, me and Louise and Tara did a trio one it. year. And, like, oh, yeah. I think, we, did we get through because we were the only people in each other? I think so, yeah. yeah. And they let us go to Connacht, and it was just so embarrassing. Like, oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. I feel like, Fiacre, you were probably <laughs> most successful well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. of us all. Fiacre, <laughs> 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 you were a regular at the All-Ireland. Yeah. With the harp, wasn't it? Yeah, I got second on the harp one year. That was as close as I got, yeah. That was fantastic. That was great. Yeah, yeah. Pretty good. Like, we won with a group of Kyol there a couple of years ago as well. Oh, yeah. A Sligo group though. Is that Fred 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 actually Fred wasn't, wasn't. No, it was a senior group of Kyol from uh, Chirari, you know, oh, yeah. out Dromore yeah. West, out yeah. that. Yeah, the McGuinnesses yeah, and all them were about. Yeah. Great yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. So that was cool. Yeah. And they spot you. You know these people. They spot. They say there's a harp player over yeah. there. I'm gonna get me hands. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know. So yeah. so the, the, these talented people uh, find each other. Yeah, yeah. And make a great sound. That's brilliant. And Michael Rooney, of course, is a heavy hitter in the trad circle. So you. Oh yeah, you were yeah. A student I would have. Yeah, I stu- yeah. I, I learned harp from him when I started. I was about fifteen, I think, and then we did group of calls in Fred Finn that he ran, and then. Yeah. We actually did quite well with them as well because there was a lot of second and thirds like we were there thereabouts kind of um they were really good groups like and again then again the musicians in that was class yeah. and then i kind of did a few bigger orchestras then that he kind of wrote music for and arranged and all that as well yeah. there was one of them for 1916 and then there was one last year for the famine suite and things and like that you know, the yeah, the class, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah yeah, yeah. and like, after you finished your degree in UL for you went back to UL to do that masters in in tra- traditional, traditional music, music performance and yeah. was that this year gone just this year gone so yeah. you, that year was cut short for that you year too. was cut short yeah Aww. it wasn't um, it didn't end up the way it was meant to be but sure no. you know and what would you recommend how did what did you think of that course yeah I loved it yeah it was great yeah. it was great I mean I suppose uh, I suppose I really did it I had finished the degree and then I was like I'd love to spend a bit more time at music and just you know kind of just to develop myself a bit more or whatever and uh, meet people you know things like that mm-hmm. and uh, to get lessons again like you know just for something new or new styles and new things like that so um, the academy down there is great it's super they've like that they've loads of tutors really good tutors um, what tutors would have come to you now this year so generally you have 
I had one tutor for the year, so I had Ashley Lyons from Clare for the year, and then we'd say you could have master classes. So I had master classes from various different ones: Alicia McMahon, Grania Hambly, yeah. um, Cormac De Barra was down, Maureen Nicosig was in. So as well. all those big names. All the names, yeah. Fantastic. yeah, yeah, yeah. It was great. It was great. Um, I was really sad for a while when the whole thing oh, came I to an end. Like we had to go online, and it's just not the same. Yeah, like you know, it's just not the same. Um, no. even just the social side of it, meeting up and playing tunes in the evening time. You know, that's yeah. a huge part of it as well. Yeah. you know just sharing tunes sure. and songs and whatever For you know sure. so um yeah. yeah so that was your year in that was in, the year in UL yeah UL, now lucky enough we still got to have our final performances in a way there was no audience but we were there in Limerick and we could use the theatre and yeah. it was broadcast so it was okay. grand like but yeah yeah, yeah. um yeah, it was different. So it was different, but sure, it's the same for everyone. Like you know, yeah. yeah so absolutely. And do you, do you uh, believe that there is still a, a, a Leitrim style of playing or a regional style here? Um, I I, mean, I don't know about the rest of them, but I definitely know. Like when I was in college, there'd be a few sessions on. So every now and again, I'd bring up Constantine and would have a few sessions across the road. But definitely, like there'd be tunes that we'd play that necessarily other people might know, or even there'd be a different style of the way I'd play the tune, then someone from Dublin might play the tune. Yeah. I don't know if any of the rest of you have found that, but I just found it to be certain. Yeah, it'd be a different, yeah. different repertoire. That's yeah. yeah. probably the biggest thing, yeah. So the Definitely. repertoire would be different. Yeah. yeah. And then the there, ha- there are different, I suppose we think of the Donegal fiddle and style, and we think, yeah. of, you know, how it changes mm-hmm. throughout the, the, the country. They've, but I wonder if um, the likes of these summer schools, where you were all exposed to um, musicians from all over the country, mm-hmm. is that becoming homogenised? Is it? Oh, is it kind of? I'd say they're they're definitely a bit more diluted than they used yeah. to be anyway. Yeah. yeah. You know, like definitely. I suppose like the styles came from a time when people didn't move around much. As you know, really, like mm-hmm. I mean, like my grandfather probably. I don't know if he was ever in Dublin even, you know, that kind of way. Yeah. So, I mean, and he played, you know, so he would have played just in the local area. Was he a flute player as well? He was, Melodian. Melodian. Melodian, yeah. yeah. And there was another man down the road that played the Melodian as well, um, an accordion. But um, And when I, you think of it, these people must have been really legendary in an area where, where people don't have, didn't have the same exposure to music and culture. Oh, you know, to have it, a yeah. local person who could turn up and play a few tunes. Turn up and play, like, say, if it was a dance on or something yeah, like that. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it was great. Yeah, it was all kind of passed down from generation. And then I used to hear them on about when the radio came in originally that they would have to listen for, like, the first part of a tune one weekend and then maybe listen for a couple of weeks until they hear the second part, you know, this kind of part. <laughs> there was no way of learning new oh. tunes, like, you know. How easy <laughs> How easy it is now, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 And, and you mentioned, Tara, um, trad classes here in Carrick and Shannon that um, had been running. Did you did you attend them? Um, yeah, I think yeah. Bre- Breida was with yeah. Yeah. Um, trad classes. So that Tara. was something I just think we have to really remember Mary Maston. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I was yeah. without yeah. her, I don't know. I, and I do, and, and Mary died. Uh, this this year and um, we remember her fondly today and all the work she did for young people and how she really lived for seeing young people come on so yeah um, it's funny actually I remember we would have gone to because we're myself and Kate are both from Drumsna so we would have gone to a lot of the sessions in uh, McLaughlin's pub in Teasy's and when I was younger I just considered the Mostons like the parents of the session (laughs) that's exactly (laughs) what I always envisioned them as like the mom and dad of the session and Brian and Mary Brian is teaching so yeah, and people. it just wouldn't have taken place without no. them, I don't no, think. No, so. they, made, they made such a difference here in the town. Like, yeah, the I know Bork was always lot. here at the Twistle, but like, they got every instrument going here yeah, with carrot glasses, absolutely. and like, they made such a difference, yeah. I think, yeah. Yeah. all the young people coming up. Yeah, so I think we should remember Mary. Yeah, definitely. And um, we're going to play another tune now. Perfect. Yeah. And remember Mary Mostyn, tapping her toes for this yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What is the tune you're going to play? Um, <laughs> it's a slide and a polka. Do we know the names of them? Do musicians ever know the names? No, of we're very bad actually. You can't the names of any tunes. <laughs> yeah. You don't even know your own name. No. no. <laughs> we played. We actually made this one though for we did the Northwest Talent Show. So that yeah. was uh, at the end of February there, just before lockdown. So it was kind of we com- set we set edition. this up just for and that come one. And so. here, how did you do in that talent show? <laughs> yeah, it was very successful. Yeah. <laughs> we were delighted. So. You won it. Yeah. <laughs> no room for modesty here. <laughs>
I think though it was just such a different setup to what we were used to. It was yeah. that concert style yeah. setup. And we'd never done that. We'd before. never. Yeah, we'd never. I remember people coming. staring at us like yeah. pure, yeah. just like silence for everyone to but hear. It's very it's difficult, I think, to adjudicate a child band versus oh, it's oh, so oh, different. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, how do you judge them yeah. against yeah. each other? But even to play alongside other people with it such talent was such a good opportunity. I remember every act that we watched, we were literally like different styles, and they were all brilliant. So it was a very good opportunity. So we're going to play it out with a couple of no-name <laughs> tunes by yes. no-name band. So this That's is John exactly. Adam by John Adam and dedicated <laughs> to Mary Boston's yeah. Yeah. memory.
check them out guys, Gone Anim, on their Facebook page and on Instagram. And a few of them run off now to work in the, play a few tunes in the <laughs> Moon River. Yeah, yeah. 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 Fantastic, so the Moon thing. River is, is open for business. <laughs> Thanks a million guys. Thank you. Thanks Mary. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.